Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hogging Face. As you can see, I'm on the road right now, but that's not an excuse not to do any videos. As you probably know, we've recently announced a partnership with Google Cloud. And in this video and in the following videos, I will show you how you can quickly and easily deploy Hogging Face models on Google Cloud. And there are different ways to do this. That's why I'm gonna do several videos. In the first one, I'm going to show you how to use our own deployment service called Inference Endpoints. And we'll see how we can deploy one click models from the hub to Google Cloud. As simple as that. Let's get started. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And if you do, please don't forget to enable notifications so that you won't miss anything in the future. Also, why not share this video on your social networks? Or with your colleagues because if you enjoyed it it's very likely someone else will thank you very much for your support starting from the hub let's find a good model to deploy on google cloud so how about we try gemma this new version of the gemma model from google so let's just click on this if this is the first time you open this model page you'll have to ask for access this is a gated model but just uh, Enter your email and confirm, and you should have access in seconds. Okay, so don't let that stop you. Uh, as always, I would encourage you to read about the model. Um, why not maybe test it locally, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Right? Lots of good information there. But for now, we want to deploy it on the inference endpoints. So let's just click on deploy inference endpoints. And you can see we have a new option for Google Cloud, right, next to AWS and Azure. So why don't we select Google? Uh, at the moment, we have a single uh, US region, but I'm pretty sure we will add more. And um, we automatically select what we think is the best configuration for this model. So here we're going to deploy on this particular instance. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we are deploying with our uh, TGI um, serving container. And by the way, just I think yesterday, we announced that uh, TGI is now back to the Apache 2 license, which I think is good news for everyone. Um, we can decide what the security level should be. So remember, public means public. Right, so wide open to the public internet, uh, no authentication. I wouldn't recommend it. And protected uh, means accessible from the internet uh, with token authentication. Right, uh, we don't have a private option for now, uh, which we have on on other clouds. So let's go with protected. We could also always take a look at the configuration. Do we want auto scaling? Do we want a particular revision of the model? I guess we'll go with uh, TGI. We could enable quantization if we wanted, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But I will stick with all those defaults. Okay, so very simple. Just select Google, um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the security level, of course. Okay, let's click on Create Endpoint. And so now it will take a few minutes. Um, of course, we'll launch automatically this. Uh, uh, GCP instance in our own account and uh, prepare the endpoint, etc. So I'll pause the video and uh, wait for the endpoint to come up. And of course, we'll test it afterwards. After a few minutes, the endpoint is up. I can see it says running here. And well, why don't we test it? So we could test it with the playground. We just need to select a token, obviously because uh, we're using the protected security, right? So uh, let's just try this. Challenging question. Trust me. All right, let's see what that says. All right, what did I tell you? Starbucks, horrible coffee. So hopefully there's something more interesting in Seattle than Starbucks. Anyway, uh, 
playground ones. Let's try the uh, the API. Um, and so again, I don't need my token. I could change some of the generation parameters. I want it to uh, to increase temperature, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And let's just include the token. Don't worry, I will invalidate it afterwards. And I just need to copy this. Okay, and let's just switch to a notebook. Okay, so let's just paste the code. Maybe it'll change the question. Let's try that again. Okay, let's just run this. Invoking the endpoint, passing the token. Okay, um, and I guess we need to print the output. Okay, let's just pre print the output. All right, the Seattle fire of 1907 was one of the more destructive in American history. Okay, well, that's clearly more interesting than Starbucks. Okay, so as you can see, super super nice and simple um just one click to deploy and then copy paste the code and you can test in minutes okay so when you're done don't forget to delete the endpoint let me show you so when you're done testing just go to settings scroll all the way down you need to type or paste the endpoint name click on delete and it goes away and you're stopped being charged. Right? Perfect. Okay, so that's the first way to deploy Hugging Face models on Google Cloud using inference endpoints. I hope this was interesting. I've got two more ways to show you, so keep an eye out for the next two videos. Okay? Keep rocking.